hello welcome back to this channel and in today's video i'm going to show you how you can download plugins into audacity software audacity is a recording software that allows you to edit and uh, record audio and sound so today i'm going to show you how you can download this type of software it is called prefix uh, plugin and then this software is actually used to enhance your sound and uh, without more shadow let's get started so you add on into google and then you are going to search for the name prefix vst for udacity and then you hit on search and then you see it, the about prefix here just scroll down and then you will see download prefix 1.0 so you click on the link and then it's going to show you this and here you are going to see another steps go to click on free download and then also click on free download it should download automatically and then okay i've clicked on free download and let's wait for some seconds and here you see here yeah, at this very side here yeah, secure download you can see the link there at the down part so that's what i want to do you click on it and then by the time you click it's going to say it's going to download automatically in few seconds or you click on download manually so wait for some few seconds and then if it doesn't uh, download automatically then you can uh, click on manual one so I think um, it's not going to download automatically and uh, okay you could see that it's still loading at uh, the tax bar there which means it's still going to show the window but you see i want to click on manually and then here it is it asks for the download location and then going to save us as winra zip and then you see it has downloaded so what you just have to do is to click go to the file your downloaded folder and then you are going to extract the file and i want to believe you have an extractor just click on extract here and then quickly it's going to extract the plugins and then you can do this for any plugins okay on the Udacity and then it is actually a DLF file so it's as if you want to input a DLF file into Udacity so it is it and then I'm going to click on the folder and then you could see that it is a DLL files so what i want to do here is um, i'm going to actually i'm seeing the license there and then the dll file you have to copy and then you have to look for audacity uh i go to the window and i search for the city okay and then it's going to show it here and then you right click and then you go to open file location you see over there and i have to click on open file location again that is a right click i click on open file location and uh, here it is so i'm going to look for plugins and this is where i'm going to paste the uh dll file you see plugins and then you have to paste it there and not only for this prefix plugin for any DLL uh, plugins but you make sure that audacity is not on so now since i've installed it i'm going to turn on the audacity uh, software i'm going to launch it and then we need to activate the plugins that uh, we've installed so yeah i want to see whether it has automatically installed the software but here yeah, it is not actually yeah so what i'm going to do is um okay i'm still trying to see whether um, the plugins will be there okay 
let me give it a strict uh, open an existing or probably a recent file that you've worked on so far and that's what i want to do so you can see and then i click on effect to see whether the plugin will be there just type the name and you know you are using prefix but i type p and the software is not there so what i'm going to do is you have to manually activate it so for you to manually activate the dll plugin that you have uh, installed this is what you are going to do so let me move away from this place because i've searched it and then it is not actually there so you go to tools you go to tools okay go to analyze and you see uh remove and add plugins you are click on it so you can see here just scroll down you scroll down these are the ones that are actually enabled you see now that is it that is a prefix and you click on enable and then by the time you click on enable it should be done because i click on show all so by the time you see it and you click on enable now you search for that software for the plugin rather and boom it is actually there so you could see it there in this place and this is the perfect software so this is how to actually install dlfi into audacity using a uh, prefix as an example if you love this content consider to subscribe to this channel and i will see you in the next video